Status Podcast. People think that that Tim Tebow getting signed to the Jaguars is white privilege. Oh, I know. I know they do. And I don't. I don't necessarily agree with that. Like we were talking about before, I think that. Um, I think that Urban Meyer is starting to build a culture in Jacksonville, and I think that he's going to use Tebow as the influence in the locker room to continue to build the culture that he, that he wants. And he knows that Tebow's the leader that, that he desires and, and Tebow's the guy that he wants in a locker room to, to build the culture that he's going to have in Jacksonville. So I think that's why he signed Tebow. I don't think it's because of Tebow's ability to play football. I think it's because of Tebow's <laughs> presence in the locker room. No, I, I, seen something, I seen something they were saying – how you know it wasn't fair. He 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 he's basically taken away from a young guy who's been playing that position all his life. Mm-hmm. Uh so do you think in that sense, is that right? I mean, I granted I understand what you said, why they brought him on. Do you think it's fair that he's taken a spot of, you know, a kid that been playing that position all his life, working his butt off, and because of a relationship? He took his spot. I mean, granted, that's life, but how do you feel about it? I think Urban Meyer is in Jacksonville trying to build a program and win games. I don't think we're. I don't think the NFL is in the business of giving people opportunities because they worked hard. I think the NFL is in the business of making money and winning football games. And I think he's he's brought Tebow on because he wants to build a culture that is going to turn into a winning culture to win football games. So I don't think Urban Meyer's mindset is, hmm, let me give this young guy an opportunity because he worked so hard and he's been playing this all his life. But he, he doesn't bring what Tebow brings to my locker room. So, I mean, I, I feel for the young guy. Like, I understand where people are coming from. But at the end of the day, Urban Meyer has a job to do, and that's to win football games, not – Petty to the young guy who played this position his whole life. I, I agree with that too. But I agree with both of y'all on, in a sense, it, uh, in terms of uh, how they, uh, what, what they brought him in for. It's definitely not like a whole 100% for his football ability. And it's definitely not a, a white privilege thing. It's definitely, and in, in, in D, like SDB said, um, when it comes to sounding a guy who's been preparing for that position his whole life, Man, they're gonna for they they get the best guys on the field every Sunday. You know what I mean? They always do, bro. You know what I mean? And honestly, when it come down to it, what if if something happens along the way? You know what I mean? Like if there's a tight end that should have been signed instead of Tim Tebow, he'll be signed. Hello, and thank you for tuning into the Status Podcast, where Dana, Ty, and Zay encourage student athletes to take action to universally succeed. The Status Podcast is designed to achieve encompassment of the student athlete and their journeys while navigating multiple avenues. Our goal is to discuss, analyze, and create powerful ways that our student athletes can benefit from using their platform to grow holistically. The Status Podcast will feature topics that can open the eyes of student-athletes to endless possibilities in sports and beyond. We, as former student-athletes, are passionate about the student-athlete experience and using our personal testimonies to repurpose the journey of the life, sports, and education. We plan to capitalize on opportunities to speak on topics regarding the wellness of student-athletes, both physically and mentally. We will use our voices to empower and supply the world's athletes with tools to be successful during and after their student athlete experience. Be sure to follow our Instagram at status412 underscore. So, yeah. like, like we started the last time, man, um, name, image, and likeness, boy. Name, image, and likeness. <laughs> It's about to be. It's about to go down in NCAA, <laughs> boy. The NCAA boy, is losing week. power. Name, image, and likeness. NCAA is losing power by the day, mm. boy. Absolutely. The, the amateurism tag is starting to come off these student athletes, and they're starting to have more freedom. They're starting to be able to profit off of you know who they are, what they do, and it's a it's a wonderful thing to see, man. Oh, absolutely. I think I think it's long overdue. I think. And speaking as a former student athlete, I, I'm kind of 
I'm glad it's happening now, but I wish it would have happened when I was in the situation. This is being uh, selfish, boy. Yeah, <laughs> call what you want. <laughs> Shoot. What? Wasn't nobody wasn't nobody at Kent about to sponsor y'all anyway? What'd you say? Wasn't nobody at Kent about to sponsor y'all anyway? Ooh, our, my senior year when we we ranked uh in the top twenty five in the country. Come on, man! It's true hey, talk. Was like, the we had so, sold out crowds of this Kent. This is true talk. Like, Don't true nobody talk. care about Kent football, man. Come on, man. We is, that what you you is that what's going? Is that what it's going to be in 2021 to twenty thirty? Is it going to be that mentality? Nobody cares about Mac football. No, I'm just messing with DB, man. But there's going to be there's going to be there's going to be opportunities for student athletes to everywhere, you know, everywhere get, get paid off their name, image, and likeness everywhere. So it's going to be it's going to be special to see. But you think about what name, image, and likeness is. Most people are probably like, "What the heck is that?" Um, mm -hmm. Student athletes are now going to be able to get paid or compensated off of their name, their image, and their likeness. So if companies want to come in and sponsor student athletes and allow them to endorse um, their products, you know, student athletes are now able to get paid off of that. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be special, man. Um, you think about, you know, the video game, like we was talking about the NCAA uh, video game uh, where student athletes were, on there, they were able to use their their image and likeness, um, but they never got compensated for it. I mean, there was a lawsuit that allowed you know all NCAA players who was on the game to get paid from it, but during the time, um, we didn't see a dollar from that. You know, there was millions and millions being generated from that video game, and we didn't see a dollar. But now, if they re-release re that game, it's going to be on, man. Uh, well, I seen uh, it's it's a it's a shooting. I think for them releasing the game, uh, I think it's just a matter of time of what year, you know, when. But I seen also seen like schools like Notre Dame and Miami, they opted out of being on the game. Yeah, which is crazy because there's only um, I don't know if I'll be buying that. There's only a certain mm -hmm. amount of states who are allowing their student athletes to be paid right now. You think there's only like six states? You got. Florida, you got Georgia, you got New Mexico, you got Mississippi, and you got Arizona, and um, I, there's one more I can't remember. Oh, Alabama, Alabama. of course, Alabama. Alabama. Yeah. So those six states are the only ones who are passing that for 2021. Um, other states are going to be waiting until 2022, 2023. Some states didn't even bring it to the court yet. So um, right now, when you talk about NIL is it's a um, uneven platform, uh, une uneven playing field. Whenever we talk about you know recruiting and student athletes being in these states, opposed to student athletes being in other states like South Carolina, say with Clemson. Well, I, uh, I also I read somewhere where they once once you know those six schools, I mean six states, I'm sorry or whatnot, they passed that for sure for everyone. You can't use that as a recruitment tool. So once they find out, like, say, uh, you know, coming to Alabama, you know, you can uh, utilize your name and you, I can guarantee I can set you up with this to get that. You can't use that as a recruitment tool. Uh, that's a sanction uh, in recruitment. Which is I, I think that's going to be huge whenever you talk about, um, you know, being being able to benefit from having your state pass that law. But in, in another sense, you don't even have to. Right. All, all right, yeah. you just got to know is. Name, image, and likeness is going to be happening in 2021 at Alabama, but it's not going to be happening in South Carolina. So I'm going right. to be able to, rather the coaches tell me or not, I'm going to be able to profit in Alabama, but I'm not going to be able to profit at Clemson. So. Oh, absolutely. You're right. And I think that's when the conference dominance is going to show crazy because that's SEC territory. Those Most of those six uh, states you named, that's SEC heavy. You got what you said, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, Florida, Alabama. You think about the most dominant schools, those three states alone, it's, they're dominant already. So you throw that into the puzzle, it's just going to be unfair, at least for a year, two years. You, you think you think those states jumped on it that early <laughs> because they know how much of an impact it's going to have in football and recruiting? Well, not even football, but all sports. Yeah, I, I think so, because you take, for example, uh, Alabama. 
Alabama doesn't have a pro team. Alabama Crimson Tide is their pro team. They it's roll tide everywhere you go. Because <laughs> that commercial that's years back, you can say roll tide, they're gonna say roll tide back to you. I remember we put it to test when we played in a bowl game down there. The waitress, she had Alabama nails, and uh we was probably and we was in Birmingham, uh, and they still was roll tide heavy. Just not in Tuscaloosa. But I, I think, for example, Alabama, they, they jumped on it. They knew. Them, 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 uh, them Congress people, they, they knew exactly what they were doing. Do you think that's all this is? Can, can, I, can I butt in for a second, guys? You, what do you think that's all this is? Is politics, DP? Because I, I, pretty, I pretty much think that this is a money play for, um, for the NCAA. Like I, like I think with a lot of things in this world, politics is that. <laughs> Is deep. You know, it, it has a play. It has a play. I ain't gonna say it's all politics, but it right. definitely has a play into it. Yeah. yeah the reason I mean, why. Go ahead, Ty. These states, these states know exactly, you yeah. know, what benefits them and what doesn't. Um, this is going to be something that benefits not only the conferences but the states. You know, most I mean? of those states um, are in the south, right? But huh? So what you said, yeah. Most of those states you named, all six of them, I think, are in the south, except for like one or two. Yeah, like New Mexico is like the only one in Arizona. Yeah, yeah. Southwest. Southwest. Outwest. But um but I, I think I think a lot of people are making this decision with the student athlete in mind though. I, I think um oh, yeah. a, lot of, a lot of people think that this is long overdue and they're uh, they're making the right decision to allow student athletes to be compensated off of who they are and what they do, man. Now let me ask you about I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I'm sorry, bro. I was saying, why should they wait, bro, to, to get to the NFL to be paid? You know, guys are starting clothing brands in college. You know what I mean? DB, you 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 told me too, additionally. What I'm saying is with that, is that um that's that's neither here nor there what type of brand it is. You know what I mean? The company the fact that guys are starting companies in general because they know that money's needed or they know that they want to start their personal uh business journey in college in before they get to the pros, you know what I mean? Is a is a big deal, man. So it gives them a lot of time. We talk about about the student athlete per se in general, and it just gives them a lot more time to be themselves, man, and express themselves without that with that cushion, that comfort, especially when you're coming from places that are less fortunate. You know what I mean? Or situations that are less fortunate than others. You got that comfort, that cushion, man. You can get real creative. I think we're gonna see a, a spurt in in um athletes who got creativity that we never seen before. I'm telling you, watch. Yeah, it's going to yeah, be, uh, be I think special, that, that, that uh, mm-hmm. plays a play in a lot of things. Because if you think about it, I don't know, you guys keep up with, like, YouTubers and whatnot, but I always see uh, the uh, guy, Destroyer. And he always destroyer. Do one-on-ones and stuff. He was a kicker at UFC. Wow. And he, uh, and he, he started a YouTube channel, but then uh, he started blowing up a little bit, and then the UFC brought him in. The uh, compliance people basically told him he had to choose. Either you're gonna be a YouTuber or a football player. Yeah, wow. you're not gonna do both. You're not gonna be able to get compensated, whatnot. And he chose to go the YouTuber route, which paid off for him in the end. But he had to make that choice to stop doing something. You know what I mean? You love. Yeah. What school it's, was that, DB? It, it's crazy. It's UFC. Crazy. It's UCF. Crazy. UCF. Okay. Okay. It's crazy you bring that up because whenever I was in college, we had a guy who did like a trick shot video. Um, mm-hmm. Our quarterback, our quarterback wow. did a, a trick shot video. His name was Johnny McEntee. And he was getting pulled from, the video went crazy. It got millions of views. And he was getting pulled from all different directions to like come do interviews and be compensated off this video. Um, but he couldn't do it because we, it was an NCAA violation. He wasn't allowed to be compensated off that video that he did on YouTube, which is crazy, man. But you, you talk about that. And you talk about, um, you know, branding. And you talk about being able to be compensated off of stuff like this now. Um, like, I, schools like Alabama are implementing curriculum where they say, like, listen, you come to Alabama, um, while you're here, you're going to be able to learn how to brand and market yourself and, you know, be marketable in the state, in the country, in the world to be compensated off of your name, your image, your likeness. Uh, which is going to be it's going to be special, man. And I think that's going to entail, you know, a financial literacy class and and all of that. So Alabama is already, you know, taking the right steps and making sure that their athletes are, are being are being. And, and, and it's a shame that 
it's a shame that it had to come to this for a financial literacy class to be taught. Like, you know what I mean? Just, wow. just to think about the broad wow. spectrum of being a student athlete. That's something that should be already, you know, in the curriculum. It should have so question, bro? been in the curriculum. Um, a lot of schools just overlooked it because, you know, money's no, money was never a, a topic whenever you talk about student athletes. Um, and now that they're going to be able to be compensated in college, it, it's starting to become a hot subject. So, um, nah. so they like like we said before, a lot of schools don't think about you know student athletes once they leave campus. Um, like that financial mm -hmm. literacy class would have been something that would have benefited them after school, but now yeah. this financial literacy class is going to be something that's going to be able to benefit them while they're in college. So, I, right. absolutely. Now, let me ask. Let me ask you guys this. Do you think this is going to uh, affect the NFL? Oh, for in, sure. in, in what terms? And, and I say that because now, and correct me if I'm wrong, now you'll be able to withdraw from withdraw your name from the draft I read within seven days after the draft. So say you get drafted in the seventh round and you thought uh, you could do better, as long as you ain't take, uh, take no compensation from an agent or anyone outside of that, you can uh, pull back and go back to college. Even if you get drafted in the first round, is is that something that is that something that has been passed already? That, that was that was in the bill that uh, was brought to Congress back in March. I love that idea, bro. Personally, because I, I know the uh, the NBA, the uh, NCAA uh, college basketball, they do it right now. They do do that. As long as you're you're agent, you? you could go back. Uh, you can come back as long as you don't yeah, I, I think I think once they get drafted, though, then that's uh, that's no, it. They bro, can't, they, I think he's right. I, I, I think they can test the waters to see to go do the combine and, and see what their status is, but after the draft, I don't think they can make that decision. Some guys so, go to summer league basketball, Ty, and yeah, still go back to college and play, but you know what I mean. And who oh, so I, I read, I read something about it on uh, Sports Illustrator, and it says something like that. Oh, so that's I, gonna uh, be crazy. They, they've already yeah. done it, bro. A couple boys, and then in the MLB, like Patrick Mahomes, he's been drafted. You know, it happened. It's been happening. For yeah, a long time. they get drafted like four different times. Yeah, yeah still don't even go sometimes. Same, you know same I mean? with the NHL. NHL is the same way. Yeah, so it's gonna just come into. It's just long overdue, like you said. Just coming to. So they got the option to maybe go pro or not. You know what I mean? But um, to hit on what you said about Alabama, man. I was upset about Alabama. I was talking, we were talking about a couple of days ago. Not upset at all, because I love Nick Saban. And the same thing with Urban Meyer. <laughs> Y'all boys get me weak. About Urban Meyer the other day. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that um, <laughs> Nick Saban and Alabama, bro, they're the mold, man. It's only right that Alabama is one of the first states to be, um, you know what I mean, um, the, where this bill's passed, because they're the mold for the rest of the NCAA, regardless of Texas, Michigan, Florida. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. this USC. It's, it's Alabama, man. They're the, they're the mold for what to do. You know what I mean? Yeah, we, for how to treat your players. We, all that. we asked about we asked about why you know Nick Saban and Urban Meyer are at the level that they're at. I mean, look at look at this is a prime example of why they're at this type of level. Alabama is one of the first schools to take this name, image, and likeness, and you know set a curriculum and, a, and programming to. A lot of student athletes oh, to, to take full advantage of it, man. The first time I heard about that idea was from you, bro. But to, I didn't know that they that Alabama already had a curriculum installed. But what I'm saying is that um, it's going to be. I keep we keep saying that it's going to be like crazy. It's going to be amazing. Like honestly, though, for every single campus, like even here at, in Pittsburgh at the University of Pitt, you know what I mean? I can see a lot of. Uh, I've been thinking about what's going to happen too. I told y'all the other day about. Uh, hopefully athletes don't get and not just student athletes but all all students don't get comfortable because there's going to be compensation for students too mark my words bro just because no. of, um, you don't think so it, I yeah think there's going to be extra compensation that for if you go to college maybe even if it's a hundred dollars five hundred dollars right you know yeah. I mean? no, no, that's that's for sure now let me ask you guys as college football fans do this affect your you know the way you follow it, do it, do it affect you know you being a true fan of it? No, not not at all. I, I think um, no. I think it's going to make college football more exciting because they have. I'm saying uh, within like like next year, we got six states that passed the bill. Yeah, but right. we still have you know forty uh, what forty four other states that need to pass it. Yeah, I, I mean I think to me 
that that doesn't have anything to do with college football. I think these states need to get on board and, and figure out, um, you know, the best thing that, that they need to do. And I think that is to pass this bill and make sure that student athletes are being paid. But me as a, as a college football fan, um, you know, I, it, it doesn't affect, you know, how I feel about it at all. It's going to, it's going to make me more interested to, to watch the schools who have passed the bill right. to see, you know, how these student athletes are performing and to see, you know, the things that they're doing in terms of being compensated for their name, image, and likeness. So I think it's going to be bring more of a following to the states that's passing this for July 1, 2021, because more people are going to want to know, you know, what's happening beyond football for these student athletes. Dane, can I, can I ask you a question? What, do you yeah. know why Miami and uh, Notre Dame aren't on the aren't going to be on the video game? I can't I can't recall exactly why. I want to know about that. Uh, I, I think I think it was because you know whenever they made that announcement, no states. Um, I think California, California was like the only state that said that they was passing right. that bill at that time. So okay. um, they they were saying like we're not allowing our students to be on this that, game. Right. But they're not going to be able to be compensated from it. So. Well, well that may Florida, change in the coming. Florida, yeah, now that Florida is, is making that uh making that adjustment, it'll be interesting to see how how Miami plays out with it. Hey, I think you you have no choice. It's you Miami. It's the U. Why wouldn't they? they those <laughs> kids want to be on the game. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to keep up if you didn't. Like, Man. especially if you you're, if you're a state that passed that bill that allow your student athletes to uh capitalize off that. You have you have to be on the game. You say we we we're not going to be on the game. I just I, I don't see how you could keep your uh, recruitment high. No, you can't. Ain't no way. I mean, you'll be able to get some some guys who right. buy into the program, but student athletes in high school nowadays don't care yeah. about that program. They want to know oh. what's happening on social media. How can you make me a star? Jesus, <laughs> right? And 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 and, and that, that's funny. Uh, just writing this down, guys. Y'all got me thinking. Good or bad. Your brand is gonna become everything. I, uh, I don't know if you guys keep up with uh, like All America. Yeah. Uh, they just had an episode basically talking about this stuff, and it was like you know fake schools like uh, Texas Northern or I, I don't know what it was, but uh, they go for the quote unquote bad boy image. Like they didn't want they didn't want the guy they didn't want the kid uh, when he was he was dominating doing this doing that he had a squeaky clean image he was proactive with uh social injustice but as soon as he got shot by accident and he he carried that uh he had that um that picture of him being quote unquote a bad boy they jumped on the recruiting scene and uh try to get him all of a sudden and they, they basically explained like you know you gotta keep this bad boy image if you want to get to where you need to go you know what i mean this is what we're looking for all right? america all america Crazy. Huh? all america the show yeah wow i ain't see that episode i'm gonna check it out somebody i know he went to Seton Hill, his old roommate. His uh he's on that show, All America, for the past two two seasons, okay? But he's from uh California. He transferred from a JUCO to Seton Hill. And um he was in a couple music videos. He got in that he 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 did some modeling for like Lacoste and like uh like somebody like Chanel. I wanna say like like uh Dolce and Gabbana, but this was at the New York Fashion Week and he they sent him to Paris. But whenever he was uh the guy I know's roommate, bro, he wasn't even starting. For the team, like you know, what I mean, he wasn't even playing at all. Not about starting, he wasn't even playing at all. Like you know, what I mean, he was barely even like uh, getting in that practice. From what he was telling me, he upped his level of, of intensity. You know, what I mean, upped his focus, concentration, his workout. He got in one year, one year of football. He uh, he got some stat. He got his, he padded his stats. Probably like I think he got like uh, not even a thousand yards, like nine hundred yards. Probably like um. Uh, seven tutties, if I'm not mistaken. He was playing uh, like split in type thing, wide receiver, running back. He went to um, he went to like a a couple tryouts. He played in like an arena indoor league. Ended up getting a trial for the Chargers in Lightstone. No joke. This is no joke. And then he um, it's a quick story time. My fault. <laughs> and then and then he, he got signed by the Chargers for the to the practice team. Played in a preseason game. Scored a touchdown. Crazy man. From that. From that. <laughs> from, <laughs> from that. Bro. <laughs> Y'all boys are so I you going somewhere with it or something. I am. What I'm saying is, it's student athletes, bro. All you gotta do is whatever you want to do. You know what I mean? Like I said, with the with the all American thing, it never ends where you think it's gonna end. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude thought that he wanted to play football. He only was on the Chargers for for that summer. You know what I mean? That season, a preseason, one preseason game, two season, two preseason games. And then um, once he got picked up, like you said, the same type of situation of do you want to play football or do you want to, you know, be a social media influencer or whatever? Yeah, this this brand, this whole brand Nick thing is going to set a lot of kids up for, you know, life after sports too, which is going to be, yeah. which is going to be good to see, man. We're going to see a lot of stories like that where, Student athletes, right. student athletes were able to. Um, <laughs> Y'all got me weak too. <laughs> we're we're going to see a lot of stories like that where student athletes, you know, thought that the NFL was going to be their career, and Man. you know, it ended up not, you know, panning out. But they're going to be able to fall back off that personal brand that they were able to build in college. So I think a lot of schools are going to have to jump on a wave that Alabama setting to, you know, make sure that their program has. Um, programming and, and and curriculum for student athletes to continue to build their personal brand while they're in college because that's only going to set them up for life after sports so much more so and, so you didn't and, touch and I, uh i Sorry. think the follow-up with with the uh with the image stuff is student athletes will have to get paid then going back to you know a previous episode that we did talking about student athletes getting paid because now you think about uh what about the student athletes that don't have that 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 image that you know they're able to do this that and the third. So now right. John Doe sitting over here, not not being able to capitalize on being at a Division One program, doing this, doing that. So he's missing out on the money that uh, Tamir's getting mm -hmm. because he don't he don't he don't have that personality. You, you get what I'm trying to say? You know, with that with that saying that, it's just like. Going pro, I mean, John Doe's gonna have to up his game a little bit. You gonna have Trevor Lawrence over here, and then you gonna have somebody else that's on the squad. Trevor Lawrence is going first round, but you're not. I mean, you're on the same team, so you 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 got to up your stock, you got to up yourself in it in order to capitalize on the things that Trevor Lawrence is able to benefit from. So, with in my eyes, I mean, what if it's not a position? Now, what if it's not a position like a quarterback to where you know you're just a a tight end, but you, you those, still that curriculum you still will help out, bro. We don't get yeah. glamorized as much as a Trevor Lawrence type quarterback. It, exactly what Zay said. Learn how to build your personal brand. I mean, this it, is going to be this is going to be, and that that's something. Some that's, guys just ain't interested in that though, Ty. I feel where DB is coming from. Some guys just don't want to go that route. Some guys, okay, well, you don't that's wanna, on them though. You know what yeah, I mean? you don't want to get if you you don't want to go that route. You don't want to get paid. I mean, it's 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 an opportunity it's, for everyone. Think, you're either going to capitalize like, on it or you're not. I, I'm my fault, uh, Ty. I was about to say, think of a guy like Kawhi Leonard. You know what I mean? The claw. It took him a long time to come out of his shell. Like he's just he's about to he's about, he's about to release a a, a mixtape project called the Culture Culture ugh, Culture Jam. I'm sorry, it was like a tongue twister almost. But uh, he got a jam dropping with NBA Young Boy and um, not Rich the Kid, another rapper. I think it's Rod. Oh, NBA Young Boy and Rod Wave. He uh, he got them two on a track together. This is Kawhi Leonard. I just was uh, peeping it out earlier this week. But that that mixtape project that he's dropping that. In like two months, you know what I mean. So, like you said, it's, it's some guys come out of their shell, DB. Some guys don't, you know what I mean. But at the same time, it's a uh, who knows. There's so many quarterbacks. I've been I've been like thinking about that too. That's so funny you say that, Dane. That, that, so, uh, who we so don't would they be able to? Now let me, it goes back. Would they be able to not pay college athletes and still pass this bill? You think? Yes, completely. I mean, just just because they passed the name, image, and likeness bill. Um, that's not taken away from anybody having an opportunity. Like you, you have this opportunity to get paid. You're either going to take advantage of it or you're not. Um, and that that's not the state's. This that's not the state the state's decision to make. Like oh, we've got to pass this bill, but we have to do something extra for the kids who are not going to be are not going to take advantage of this. Like no, this is the bill. You're going to take advantage good. of it or you're not. And so I think with that being said, with uh, giving the student athletes the opportunity to get paid like that, the NCAA is going to make it difficult. Yeah, they are for for that. Uh, you know, for student athletes to get paid. Listen, can I tell y'all something? This sounds a lot like the American government, bro. Like, um, this is the bill that's passed, and um, <clears throat> either you get with the wave or you don't. You get left. It's like rich versus poor, almost, man. You understand what I'm saying? Like for real, it's like you, you either get with it or get left behind. But yeah, like you said, they're not going to leave nobody behind. 
they're yeah. not gonna leave, they're not gonna leave anyone behind. But but people are gonna have to remember though, like the student athletes are gonna have to remember in those curriculums and that um that uh like that that want to is gonna have to be there, bro, because um it's gonna be fast paced, man. So was, people are gonna be coming in and out, in and out. You know what I mean? It's gonna be a lot of business style of um of in the games added. You know what I mean? A lot of business style added to football. Honestly. That's what it's coming down to is money. Yeah. I, and I, I think I think uh you said it before, I think it'll help the student athlete to graduate to get the degree. Uh oh, so where they don't feel that financial hurt to have to uh let me hurry up and get in these three years and let me I need to do what I gotta do. Yep. Uh knowing that I'm still able to bring home a check for my family and be able to do what I want to do, what I need to do. Uh I think it, it, it wouldn't be so it won't be so uh quick to leave and to leave that degree back there. And some go back, some don't. But I, I think the rate, the uh, graduation rate, would would, uh, would jump uh, very high. Yeah, I think so too. I think the graduation rates will continue to. to that, they're already high, right? Um, you know, in terms of student athletes across the country. But, right, right. Mm-hmm. But I think I think it's gonna allow more. Like you could take. For, this is a perfect example for that, cuz. You got the kid at, at Louisville a few years ago. He was a safety. I don't remember his name, but he won a Thorpe Award. Um, mm-hmm. He was only a redshirt sophomore, so he could have stayed for two more seasons, but he decided to leave and enter the NFL draft. Um, yeah. You know, that type of status, if he would have been able to stay in college and get paid off mm-hmm. of his name, image, or likeness, um, he probably yeah. would have made that decision to leave and go undrafted. He either what round did, oh, he, went, he went undrafted. He, went undrafted. He, he either got drafted in the seventh round or went undrafted. Yeah, well, at that point, he let, he led the country in interception, but he, he won a Thorpe Award though. He won a Thorpe Award, yeah. That's and what I'm then, saying. And then he went either seventh round or undrafted. Either um, way, either way, bro. He and, a- and he was and he was only a sophomore, so. If he was able to get compensated, because you never know what his home situation was like. He probably right. said, I want a Thorpe Award. I'm only a sophomore. I'm going to go take care of my family. But if he was able to get paid while he was in college, maybe that would have allowed him to stay another year or two. Ah, absolutely. And graduate. Go back to what I said, yeah. Yeah. That degree is so important, man. It does, you know what I mean? It's actually, it don't, I, people are undervaluing it as of recently. I wanted to say, I want to make it, make that known. It's so important. Yeah. It's so important. People are undervaluing it, man. And talking about, you know what I mean? Just like the levels of what they think of, of college, you know what I mean? On the outside, on the outside looking in. Either, even the people that have went to school and got their degree, I've seen them like uh, down talk it. But it's and, so and it's so much that, more important. But that, that the degree is becoming undervalued because you're now yeah. able to go on social media and make a million dollars, build your personal brand, and yeah. become a millionaire without going to college. So like people are wow. like, I'm going to go ahead and, and build my. That's brand. been a thing, though, bro. Steve Jobs, huh? we just talked about that. That's that's been a thing, though, bro. People not. Like, but it's becoming more of a thing. It yeah, is becoming more of a thing. thing. But you know what? Like you got you got a seven year old out there making more money than all three of us put together. <laughs> Shoot. So like, yeah, because, because, because of like that, because of the person. Wow. Brand. Right, right. So uh, that, that's definitely everything. So let me ask: uh, We talked about politics. Do you think when the politics do get involved, they're yeah, you, know, you know how deep politics can get. Uh, they're likely to like a st- some states not push the agenda as hard or as quick as the previous states because of maybe like, you know, political disagreements or whatever the case may be. Yeah. There's probably going to be people that's on the other side of the spectrum. They're like, okay, I don't, I don't think student athletes should get paid off their name, image and likeness. You know what I mean? So there, there could be a situation where, you know, a state wants to pass the bill, but they don't have enough votes at this right. moment to do so because not everybody feels the same way about student athletes as uh as the next person. So who do you um, think who, who do y'all think is gonna lose money from this? You know what I mean? That's that's who's gonna not want it, DB. Who's I don't gonna think lose anybody's money? gonna lose money yeah. from it. Somebody's gonna lose money. If, if, if anything, if anything, I could see it just affecting the NCAA in a whole as far as like a as a general NCAA type of brand thing. The NCAA is just losing power by yeah. the minute right now. That amateurism, right, that amateurism status is going out the window. 
Yeah. So and I think they now do you let me ask you, do you think that they will jump in it and uh try to cut like a sponsorship with you know a Trevor Lawrence type quality player who has a big name who can you know promote the NCAA some way, somehow, and still so they can generate the money, some money that they may be losing out on. That'll be interesting. That'll be interesting yeah. to see if the NCAA I, I'm I wonder if they're gonna have something in the bill where the NCAA is not able to profit off this. But if the NCAA is able to profit off of it, guess what? They're going to. <laughs> like we oh, said, though. Hey, and and I read wait. something yeah, with, with this, with them passing this, it takes away from uh, any lawsuits brought upon the NCAA from previous uh, years. Wow. Or what they, they, uh, I read man. that also. So like you can't like so we can't we can't sue the NCAA but oh they got the name and likeliness image uh going now but we didn't have that let me sue you they, what about, they, what they about prohibited the, that what about the, law, the rules the the, the DB what about the uh people who got like their Heisman taken from them and stuff because of amateurism yeah you know what I mean that'll Boy, be that might fall in the same under the same uh category I wonder if yeah, you're gonna that, give them that's, their a, that's a good point though Zay that's a good point because. You see, you know, dudes like Reggie Bush, like you said, um, you know, or a few boys. They, they, I, I think, I think they got to give them the Heisman back, man. They, they do got give to. Them the Heisman back. They gotta they give got them the to. Heisman back. Especially <laughs> they a Reggie gotta Bush. Give them the Heisman back. Reggie Bush, on, get your man. Heisman back. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't back. say <laughs> Reggie Bush. We're still pulling this Heisman from you, but we're gonna allow these student athletes to do what you did in college, but. And, and they're going to be able to win the Heisman, but we still going to keep your Heisman from you. Give, right. give Reggie Bush's Heisman said, back. Give him the Heisman back. You got me thinking about something else too, DB, whenever you were talking about um, – because I don't want to say who's going to lose money. The NCAA isn't the one who pays the players, though, Ty, as we spoke on before. It's the colleges, the universities. The, the players, according to NIL rules, name, image, and likeness, they can only get paid by the colleges. Even with the bill that's passed, they can only get paid by their university or yeah. outside endorsement deals. Like, yeah, yeah, I, like I don't, right. I don't think the universities are going to be able to pay the student athletes. Somehow, yeah. some way, they're going to get the money for it. I mean, unless, unless you, unless you, unless you get sales, the government, unless you get Trevor Lawrence on a commercial it. saying "Come to Clemson," blah blah blah, uh, like yeah. that. It'll it'll be interesting, but no, this is not NCAA. This is not NCAA law. This is not NCAA yeah. rule. This is the right. state, state yeah. and hopefully so you got to think if the, if it's state federal. by state, NCAA is in every state, but every college is in every state. So every state is regulated regulating the colleges in that state, bro. So the colleges decide how they're gonna let their players get paid. NCAA don't decide. If the colleges say. Yo, you it's the way you made that rule, but we not with it. They stay not with it. You understand what I'm saying? No, the rule is it's a bill, it's a law, it's, it's a, a state, state law. law. Exactly, bro. So it's if you're in that state, if you're in that state, and I want to, if I'm in Alabama and I want to get playing. paid, Alabama can't tell me I can't get paid from this dealership. No, yeah, it's you're gonna get law. paid. You're gonna get paid. What I'm saying is that you can only be, they can only be in Alabama, even in Alabama, they can only be paid from the University of Auburn, University of Alabama, the University of Alabama A and M. Or the, they can't get paid by the NCAA. It's confusing yeah. because it's I've seen. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. I know because we're not, we're not, we're not branding the NCAA. We're branding the Taz car dealership or yep. whatever case may be. If Alabama approached me like, "Hey, you're a store athlete here. I want you to get on commercial. Tell them about coming to Alabama. We'll give you five thousand dollars." That's how I'll get paid through the university. The NCAA. Yeah, you're right. About, that's exactly right. That's, that's exactly perfectly said, bro. Because listen, Ty, this is what he's saying. I mean, it's I the same know thing exactly I'm saying. what's going on, bro. <laughs> He's saying the, what I'm saying, though, I'm trying to tell y'all both, listen, the NCAA don't want no parts of that, bro. They don't want to be uh, promoting any car dealerships. And they don't want they, they don't want any car dealerships saying the NCAA promotes this uh, car auto shop. Of That's course right. they don't want it. Why do you think it's taking so long for this to come about? That's what I'm saying, bro. It's <laughs> only the schools. The players are going to have a dilemma. Because what's going to happen is the schools are going to be start to say, we, we don't have enough money for this. We don't have enough money for that. That's what I'm saying. The government's really going to butt in. It's going to be in the, all in the benefit of the players. Bro, it's not a bad it, thing I'm saying. They're not being negative. paid from the school, bro. They're not being not paid the, from the school. They're being paid. So so say so say, Trevor Lawrence is going to promote Legacy Avenue. That's an outside you, payment. You're, you're paying 
Trevor Lawrence. Clemson's not paying Trevor Lawrence. They're going to pay him for some for other for their own uh, nil. Uh, but if, if it's not in the, if it's not in Clemson's budget, they're not going to do it. What I'm yeah. saying is they're going to put. They're probably going to. We're going to see all that change, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. But it's not there yet. You know what I mean? We're going to see that it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Bro. Oh, oh, you're you're losing me. You're losing me. It's coming, bro. Because what, the, what the, I'm the, saying the, is the budget, the budget to pay for the colleges and the college and the college sports teams to pay every um to pay every player and pay the not the coaches are already paid millions, but every player and every single level of uh I was about to say the the the, the student the trainers <laughs> and the and the, 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 the students that help out. I'm just joking, but to pay every single level of. You know what I mean? Every player, freshman through senior, bro. The NCAA, the colleges are going to have – they're going to need more money, bro. Because in order to take care of John Doe, who's not promoting himself, what yeah. I'm trying to say. You understand? Well, they're right. need no, that, that's what we're back to what y'all, what y'all said when I said it, that it's not up to Clemson University to uh, tell you to promote yourself to go get your own money. You got to be wanting to go do that because it's your image. It's your name. So, yeah, we're, so it's on what you want to get paid. If you don't – if you decide – not to get nothing, and the NCAA and whatever don't pass that student athletes get paid. You don't get nothing but your Pell Grant, your uh, financial aid, whatever the case may be. That's the only thing you're getting. So if you don't capitalize on the image thing and uh, promote yourself, you got to be your biggest fan. Then you yeah, just don't that's get paid. Not Clemson's fault. Yeah. So right. the only way us as Clemson, if we're paying you, is all right, Jose. You know what I mean you just you're a Heisman finalist. I want you to get on the commercial and say how great Clemson is. This and that will compensate you four thousand dollars for speaking on Clemson, right? And so that's, that's that, what be. you do with Legacy Avenue? That's nothing to do with us. Nothing to do that's with Clemson you, ever. Legacy Avenue. Yeah, you can't even have Clemson's name near it. Right. That's for sure. That's how every college is going to play. If you if you get a Capri Sun deal, if you get a, a car dealership. We keep saying car dealership. They're gonna say, "Do not put Clemson near that car dealership, please." Well, Trevor you just Lawrence. probably can't wear like a Clemson gear. You try yeah. to say, "Hey, Trevor Lawrence, Clemson quarterback." Here, because if that if the owner of that car dealership gets in a sex scandal, Clemson is gonna look bad. That's what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? NCAA way is gonna look bad. The player is gonna look bad for dealing with that car dealership. So it's yeah, always yeah. Look- that's why you gotta come out, make a statement, uh, make sure your paperwork's right. And yeah, that, but that happens that's- when you're in the NFL. That's what I'm saying. But now it's going down to the amateurism being taken away. So now the NIL, that's where my mind is blown of where the money's going to come from. And it's who's not going to come money? from the university. I, I'll tell you that much. Because the athletic departments, like we said, you know, in a previous episode, oh, yeah, don't, they don't got the money to pay the student athletes. So wow. it's not coming from the university. Unless, unless, right. the pre- unless the president of Clemson tells, you know, the university financial department business office, hey, we're going to pay Trevor Lawrence out of this budget. It's not gonna come from the athletic department. What if Trevor buddy? Lawrence threatened to transfer because he's not being paid enough? How about that? No, no, bro. From who? I bet who, you. We where's some where's like the yeah, to It's gonna happen. I'm saying it's gonna start happening, bro. What's but no, what I'm saying is, why would he say that when us we're not paying you anyone? Listen, I'm talking about in the future. We're gonna see people saying, like you said, DB. You mentioned it too before about players not wanting to go to Alabama because of the the, the options. In the non, I, no, I, I, I see. I see where you're coming from. I see where you're coming from, Zay. A boy will be like, "I'm out of here." You know what I mean? Even um, player, a player who's not playing can easily be like, um, "Okay." But still, you take that risk. So, all right, you transfer from Clemson, where they don't have the uh, the bill passed yet, and transfer to Alabama. Now you're fifth on the uh, quarterback chart. On the that, you know what I mean? So not you're smart. taking that risk to even lose to le- even lose. First of all, your chance at the league. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so you're not even jumping into the branding thing because they already got five quarterbacks who are probably top ten recruits in their class as is. So if wow. you're taking that risk, that's your own dumb fool. <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> Wait, yes. like, so because like put put it like this: if Trevor Lawrence is at Clemson <laughs> and he's like, oh well, the sponsorships at Clemson are not giving me enough money. Let me go to Alabama because their sponsorships pay a little bit more. Now he's gonna to have to compete with Tua, right? To be right. to be on the field, and he's gonna to have to compete with Tua for those sponsorships. So location, do, location, do you really location. Want to bro. Do that? Like, LA, do you really want to LA, do that? New York. That's what it's gonna be. You're right about that. 
but it's going to be more so of where the most businesses already are, where there's already Hollywood style stuff going on, Miami, Florida. There's going to be a lot of more kids going to Miami to be sponsored by, to be able to get some club lib love. You know what I'm no, saying? No, that's, that's illegal. Bro, listen. They, they, it's not they, can't, they, can't, they can't sponsor like. Not sponsor. Huh? I'm just talking about love. I'm just talking about like. The love, the, 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 the natural, genuine. Oh, I got you. I got you. You, do, you do that now, though. But what I'm saying yeah. is about to be enhanced times a thousand. It, it's if, definitely if you go to Miami, enhanced. what'd you say, bro? It's definitely going to be enhanced. Miami, if you go to my, the University of Miami, you're going to be living that life. Now, yeah, well, there's, like, there's definitely going, in the beginning, there's definitely going to be some uh, miss, recruitment miss. sanctions. Yeah, you're right about that. Dang. Because they're going to use it as a recruitment. Bro, some guys are going to get a million dollars, bro. A million yeah, dollars. Not even a question. There's gonna be some. There's billionaire alumni all over the place. I oh, mean, yeah. all over. There's only like I don't know how many billionaires there are in America or in the world, but there's the there's this out there. The stats out there. It's like under yeah. like a hundred thousand. I'll be I'll be many. interested to I'll be interested to read the um read the bill to see if there's a limit on how much money you can make per year. Right. To see yeah. to see the details of you know what this is gonna look like because um I mean it can get crazy it's it gonna get, get crazy it can get crazy but if they put a limit on it um you know i think it'll, i think that'll also that. even out the playing field a little bit i think so db this is what uh it's so funny because uh i know i was like talking in circles earlier about this but now that i think about it the more that we we all talk about it um the the alumni stuff ty the alumni stuff and them being able to pay is going to be a big factor man because uh because the schools, if the universities aren't coming out of pocket, like you say, which is pretty reasonable, like pretty like reasonable to happen. I'm saying it's a pretty, I can see that happening. You know what I mean? Like them not paying players. Um, but if that's not if that's the case, they're going to need help, way more help. You know, the athletic department and the actual teams themselves are going to need way more help. So it's going to be on the alumni. It's going to be on um, other other endorsements outside. But listen, bro, whenever it gets sanctioned, the NCAA is going to lose their power a little bit, not a lot. They're going to sanction what the alumni can give players, obviously, because of the guys who aren't in the limelight, who are playing the tight end, like DB said. They ain't getting the love that the QB is getting. You understand what I'm saying? So when it comes down to it, uh, what's going to be crazy, bro, uh, with the with the way that with who's played or, or who's paid the most, like you said, it's about to get, it could get crazy. What's going to be crazy is the fact that um, it's come, it's inevitable. It's already here. The bills are starting to get passed, right? So boom, just imagine. Justin Fields when he transferred from um where, to Ohio State or something like that I think yeah so boom when he leaves he's like uh somebody's like yeah you just come to Ohio State don't go to USC don't go I know I know that it's um not as um shiny in uh, Columbus Ohio as it is in LA come to, come here though I got you we don't know what happened last year you know what I mean or two years ago whenever he first went there but whenever it's publicized and it's okay somebody can easily say Bro, you're you're okay for a year, for two years. I give you a million dollars, five hundred k a year. You'll be fine. Come on, you know what I mean. And if we don't know about it because it's a backdoor deal, like DB was talking about before, you know what I mean, bro. We don't. There's gonna be a lot of stuff we're not seeing. Is basically what I'm trying to say. You understand? And then um, the the the, the colleges themselves, they're it's so wild because like I'm, I'm I know I don't want to get all over the place with it, but the colleges themselves aren't. They're gonna it's so they're they're gonna lose out in the end, bro. In a way, because um, the players got a lot of options, man. It's gonna have to. It's gonna be. It's gonna be weird. Man. Like I, I want college football to stay good. You know what I mean? I love college football just to watch it, per se. Like you said, are you gonna be a fan of college sports in general? You know what I mean? Uh, uh, you talk. You talk about the backdoor deals. I, uh, so you think? Uh, so basically, you think some backdoor deals could be done as far as like, like uh, scandals. Basically, like uh, I'm already paying you twenty thousand. But me and my buddy, we have a rivalry going on. Alabama Auburn. He goes. He's a uh, Auburn alum. I'm Alabama alum, and we're talking. We lose a bet gambling on a, a golf course, or whatever, playing golf. And, or he threw me a million dollars to talk to you because I already got you under contract as far as wow. the company. All right, I'll give you extra five hundred thousand. Throw two interceptions. You think things like that can happen? I don't want to talk about that because we 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 don't want to get into that to that tarnish in the game. But yes, I think about that all the time, BB. I ain't gonna lie, I do think about that all the time. It's that kind of like what the Pete Rose thing. It is like Pete Rose, and it's like the movie Blue Chips. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah, 
but it's it's real. It's not fake. The referee that got I think his last name was like Paulin or something from he he was out of New York. He was involved with the mafia, and they did that for twenty four years. Twenty, I think it might have been longer than that. But they were, but they rec recorded it for like for twenty over twenty years of um like the books they had. The dude that snitched on the whole on the whole uh the whole, he told on the whole operation. They had books of it, bro. But they, but they the FBI actually followed that refs like his mistakes for like three years straight, and it was millions of dollars, man. It was like a, it was like a like almost eleven million dollars, I think, worth of like mess ups or something like that. And this is in like three. This is in a couple of years. It might have been eleven million a year. I don't want to misquote myself. You think you think so, Ty? I don't think so. I think um, I, I don't think this is gonna change the integrity. I don't think it's gonna change the the integrity. Talk about integrity and college, and college sports. It's it's really uh. There's really not a lot there, but I, I don't think this is gonna. I don't think this is gonna change the play on the field. Um, I, I think it's gonna change, you know, who goes to what schools. But I don't think it's gonna. I don't think we're gonna see a change of, of play on the field because of backdoor deals, because of backdoor deals and things like that. So now, when you go up to like how we talked about, uh, you know, that kid that might not promote himself, how others are, and he get approached with, hey. If he played guard or something, hey, you, I got twenty thousand for you. Missed this block, whatever. Right. Like you know, what I mean, throw a block or something. No, I, I don't see it. I bro, mean, that's that's real. That's some real talk, man. You're getting into right now. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I don't see it. I, I just say, not. I just say, you can't never say never because you don't know what money can drive a, someone to do. Uh, On that particular, you can day. never say never, but like, you would like to think not so. You would like you would like to think not so. You would also like to think that people are not approaching right. student athletes with with that type of yeah, decision. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. And I want to give a shout out to the family, Tamar, with the very different clothing. Very different. Shout out. Keep very going, different. going hard. Very different. Shout out my man T Cook with T Cook Productions. Keep going hard. Know what you're doing. I see y'all. I just want to want y'all to know we all appreciate the love y'all show everyone by watching the views, uh, by viewing our tape, subscribing to our channel. Just keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. We we're very appreciative of you, and just thank you, man. Keep tuning in. Absolutely, and go ahead, make thank sure you drop something in the comments section regarding name, image, and likeness, man. Everybody got a different opinion on where this is going, so let's continue the conversation in the comments section. What you think the NCAA is going to do about name, image, and likeness? And make that sure that you guys like go ahead. Make sure that you guys go ahead and follow the Instagram page, man, at status four one two underscore. Um, you know, show love to the videos mm -hmm. and, and continue <laughs> to continue to check it, check us out. Now do it. Yep. <laughs> All right, y'all. Deuces, guys.